continue the day before Christmas. And when we say Christmas, it's the 24th is the real Christmas for us. That's when we celebrate Christmas in Sweden. So tomorrow we're gonna have a day off. But today we have done some good work. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick tour just to explain, explain a little bit what we've done the last, uh, I don't know, six, seven weeks. I don't remember how long time ago it was since we posted uh, um, our last video. But hang on for a moment. This will be pretty quick, uh, just to not get you too bored. And yeah. So, first of all, let's start where I'm standing now. Yeah, you remember our engine, our little diesel friend. Um, I have started to look on it and uh, just try to... Uh, I have taken off old cables because the cables were and the connect connectors were badly corroded and um, the wires inside started to get black. So I decided to just pull all the wires and rewire everything. And uh, I also need to like loosen the starter. I'm taking off the solenoid here. Uh, it's it's here, and uh, I have one bolt that is seized, so I need to uh, warm it up a couple more times and try to get it loose. Because I really want to have it loose. Because you see here, it's it's uh, it's the raw water pump, and it's a pain to really get the um, the impeller out if you if you if you need it. It took me probably one hour to get the impeller out without removing the starter so next time when I really need to um, replace it I want to have it done pretty fast so the best way to do it is to remove the starter but I also need to know that the starter is possible to remove uh, like now it's just seized because of the nut uh, or the bolt so anyhow I'm not gonna bore you more with that mm, some shit on the lens Hmm. More handsome now? I hope so. Uh, yeah, down here. I don't think we've done a lot. I ha I wanted to had I wanted to had this installed for this video, but this has just been like a, a trial trial and error thing. I don't know. Um, it's not been going very good. Uh, anyhow, they're almost done now. This is for. Um, uh, I was going to show you up for our um, the chafe protector for the anchor chain uh, on deck. Uh, so these are needs to be cleared and then they're going to be uh, installed. So it's just a couple of days more work and then they can be installed. Let's go up and see what's happened. Yeah, you probably see it. We have non-skid now um, on aft part of the deck and also on the sugar scoop. <coughs> And you see the ladder is installed as well. Oh yeah, perfect. And um, cleats. Uh, I'm using butyl tape, and uh, I have not taken the excess off yet, like you see. So it looks pretty shitty, but trust me, it's gonna look better, and uh, everything's gonna be uh, um, um, nicely cut before we're splashing. And just need to tighten it a little bit more soon um, because it creeps a little bit. Uh, this installed. This I don't remember if it had been installed before or not, but yeah. And um, here, more rope clutches is installed. So here's one for the backstay, check stay, and runner. Same gonna be there, but we're missing that one. And uh, the earliest we can get it is actually in the end of January, and that's a little bit. Uh, PIA, but we'll see if we can leave without it or if we're done by that time or not. I don't know. Here is more rope clutches, um, two triples, and uh, another one installed there. Um, the same here, beauty tape is used. I haven't uh, cut off the excess yet, so I'm still need to uh, tighten it a little bit more. Here is our uh, anchor chafe protector. Like I said, we're putting uh, trims over here and here. And uh, this trim that comes here isn't done yet. Um, right now it looks pretty shitty. But I have, I've, um, I've had it up and it looks pretty awesome actually when everything is installed. Um, 
so yeah, I was gonna say, what else have we done? Uh, some blocks installed for the spinnaker up there. Also our derailed vents is installed. Just the bow, uh, the front ones. Uh, anchor rollers is installed. And um, we were fighting with the trampoline, uh, I think it was like in two, day, two or three days. So this one has been installed now and it probably needs to be um, uh, retightened a little, little bit, maybe after one week or so. But it's uh, pretty good tension in it right now. Uh, here is another inspection hatch uh, installed because uh, we need to uh, put um, uh, attachments for uh, check stay and runners. Okay, let's go inside and see what's what's new on the inside. Karen has mostly been working inside, so and she's oh yeah, here she is. I'm here. Yeah. What have you been working on the last le, le, the last week, if we say last so, week. just to refreshing up your your pretty recent memory? I think I installed the wood trims for the entrances. Uh, yeah, for all the um, all the openings. Yeah. Mm, and then I made a solution for for the shelf for the storage here, and I put some formica here in the fridge. So it's gonna be sliding doors here. So I bought plywood and Andrea helped me to cut formica. But I have green and grey formica here. I'm working on it right now to glue them together. Yeah, mm -hmm. another big thing is of course all the panel and um, the big panels has uh, been been installed now with uh, wood trims around. Um, I mean I think I'm in ordering mode. I ordered sixty meter of uh, wood trims. That needs to <laughs> be cut, and you know, all the cut, painted, sanded, blah blah blah. But I installed some here for the shelves and the cupboards. Yeah. Planning to have doors here, you said? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. With the uh, formica on. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, back to the big panels. Uh, so they're more or less done, they just need um, outer trims. the outer trims to cover all the screws, and uh, it's. Um, uh, I think it looks pretty good. I actually had higher expectations. It didn't come out really as good as I had wanted. If I had done it today, I would probably have covered the whole aluminum frame, like you see. And um, so the wood trim had moved up a little bit. Uh, I have a second solution how to maybe um, experiment with it um, to maybe um, to maybe hide it or so. We'll see, it's not the end of the world. I can work with that uh, later too, but uh, I'm not 100% um, uh, convinced, uh, but still. Um, yeah, wood trims like this, it's not been installed yet, but it's all been uh, primed and sanded and, um, and painted. Uh, we'll wait a little bit uh, to install it. Uh, this one here, I uh, painted uh, yesterday, no, today actually, and uh, the wood trims are painted. Still needs some more um, uh, wood trims. Here you see more... Uh, yeah, here you see more wood trims in being installed. This one has been installed, but no uh, outer uh, trims yet. Because we need to take it down for the um, chain plate installation. Same here. And um, yeah, wood trims like here has been installed. Uh, nothing in the ceiling yet. Uh, we just order materials and we're waiting for that to arrive maybe uh, later this week. Uh, we're up in the V berth and it's um, probably the place on the boat that is most finished. So, shelves, maybe we, we have just not screw, screwed them down yet. But wood trims like here, covering the, um, the edges on the holes. Same here. Yeah, I've, um, I've also been working a lot on the electric um, uh, with all the new cables. So it's like new cables for the um, for the, the, the electric winch. Here we're building everything. Um, this is like our main cabinet for electric um, things. Uh, nothing has been really been... Um, it's more or less how everything's going to be, but we haven't tightened anything down and going to make it a little bit more tidy. And so this is for our sea marine uh, Pico system, inverter, autopilot, solar regulator, um, 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 battery fuse, 
um, switch and a lot of bus bars, shunt for Pico Marine System and um, C uh, Raymarine uh, Seatock NG System. We've installed um, the instruments, it's the system. Um, here is um, the new electric panel we're building with this uh, Pico Marine System. And uh, yeah, so we're getting a lot done. Um, it's getting pretty dirty around here. We're still having, you see, everywhere we have gray. It's gonna be painted. Um, it's been like scratches and things like that. So uh, maybe paint that uh, next week or or so. Uh, Karen has been installing um, all these kind of things. Um, that's the same for um, uh, down on the um, the lids uh, on the um, on the floor. Uh, electrical panel, uh, sorry, engine panel has been installed. Uh, water inlet has been installed. Uh, engine control. Yeah, it's probably like a hundred other things we have done, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. So, uh, like you see, we're getting a little bit closer, but still having a lot more um, smaller things to deal with. I would say the electrical system is. Um, done by 70% uh, still has some wires uh, needs to be uh, pulled in the ceiling especially for uh, uh, lights and um, yeah but more or less and the plumbing is done to maybe uh, about the same I'll say 70 or 80% um, so that's for now